What's up guys, B-Rob here, and today I just got my uh, my Truxedo tonneau cover for the this Ram 2019 Ram Rebel, and I want to show you what it looks like. I'll be right back. So here it is, this is the Truxedo tonneau cover for the 2019 Ram Rebel, and this is how it comes packaged to your house. I ordered this one off of Amazon and the box, I'm thinking this box is probably about six feet six. So it's about six six. I'm six five. And you, know, you see this thing. See this thing beside me. So it's about an inch taller than me, I think. So yeah, the box is about six six. And um and so it comes sealed up like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna see what what's in here for you guys who may be wanting to look at this for your your ram rebel or any other truck that you get Inspecting the parts, make sure everything is here. Looks like here's some 3M lining. Some lining with 3M tape on it. It's an owner's manual. Pro X15. All right. Look, looks like we got the we got the owner's manual here. Supposedly this is pretty quick install. What I need to find, figure out now is see what I need. What kind of tools do I need? It looks like for this I'm going to need a wrench and um, looks like a half inch the half inch racket ratchet. Looks like I need some soap and water here and the, the manual. So looks pretty good. So I've already washed everything. Washed my truck today. So I'm thinking everything looks good. Alright, so I'll begin the install. Looks like here first thing is I want us to wet down. Install the rails. So I have all my tools here. I have my half inch socket. Uh, it tells you right here. You need a half inch socket. Um, also, um, I have my screwdriver over there. Um, but you're going to need the socket for these clamps and this rail here is going to fit on right here to the side um, as in this picture right here and so I'm going to go ahead and get this rail put on over there and then um, I'll let you guys see what that's like and then um, We'll go ahead and get this thing put together. It does recommend that you close the, the truck bed <clears throat> while you're positioning the rails. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and um, try to get one rail positioned. And I'll, I'll be back with you guys here in a minute. So here I have the truck bed closed while I position the rail. Now this rail here is not, uh, is not clamped in yet. So I positioned it. See what it's going to look like. So this this part here is the rail, um, this dividing line between 
uh, the truck bed and the, the actual rail that goes with the tonneau cover. So I just wanted to show you. One thing I do recommend is go ahead and get a tape measure or a ruler because um, they want you to, the instructions say that you put your first clamp about six or seven inches. You start from, from each end about six or seven inches with your first clamp. Then you're gonna put a clamp in the middle of those two clamps. So you're gonna end up having three clamps on each side. Um, if I had read the instructions correctly. All right, so we have the rails installed here. And thing is to make sure that this rail part right here is level. So you want that, you don't want it to dive, dip like this or you want it sitting up too high, you want it level. Here are the clamps. There's one there. There's one clamp here. Got one there. So this is about about six inches from about six inches from the back here. And that one up there, I did about six inches from from here. So from here to here, where the clamp is, is about six inches. Then the same thing on the other side. There's the clamp there. Second clamp. Back out to the third clamp. You want to make sure that it's level. This. Now, one thing <coughs> that we have going on here is that because we have this this cap here that came that is here from the factory, we're going to have to put this um, this seal down, and the seal is going to it's going to basically bridge uh, bridge that hole there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. And, um, and then show you guys what that's like and we'll be rocking and rolling so now I have my bulkhead seal here installed I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, go ahead and lay the, the actual tunnel cover on and I'm gonna line the the head of the cover to these holes here and here of course, this is the cab of the truck there. So I'm going to get that done. Alright guys, so I got the top, the header here in place. And what you want to do is, once you get the, the header in place, um, you got to match up two screws, which um, are underneath here. I don't know, it might be a little too dark for you to see here, but... Um, there's there's holes. I showed you the holes in the head in the rail. The header screws slide down into, and that's about it. It doesn't do anything else except help you line it. But then after that, you have to slide these babies here into place until you hear a click. So you slide these over on each side until you hear a click, and then that's got it secured in place. So we'll go up and down, and then you. You turn these screws here, these big babies here, and this locks it so it won't go back and forth. And so we're, we're pretty much set <clears throat> right now. And this is how it looks when it's rolled up. I have a wrinkle in it right there because um, I was just trying to get it into place. Uh, but these, these secured into place here. And once you got it, when you got it rolled up and you want to haul something, you take these and secure it that way into place and that holds it like that and then you do the same thing on this side over here um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish and uh, get this thing <clears throat> going to get this rolled out and let you see what it looks like and I'm actually going to leave it but I'll go ahead and try to do this right now Show you how easy this is. And of course, this is my first time putting this on, so I'm trying to show you at the same time that I'm installing it on my truck here. I have to jump down here. All right. So these bars fit down in there. You want to pull it tight. Of 
course there's some wrinkles on this side here I'm gonna make sure it's all pulled tight so I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit the camera down and go ahead and do this and I'll show you guys what it looks like all right guys here it is finished product it's pulled pretty tight and you know this is a new install I took you guys with me on the install and so the instructions say there's going to be you know see a few wrinkles here uh, what I'm going to do is end up trying to pull these wrinkles out here so it can ride smooth um, but I'm going to take it on a test drive after I make sure everything is down and uh, good to go but it's pretty easy to open the tailgate and pull this and see it flips out like that and you just roll it back from there you roll it back to wherever you need it see it like that rolled back of course I can roll it all the way back but I'm going to show you how I end up closing it so the instructions say you close the tailgate first and then you, you go ahead and close this so it's got to fit down this, this lip here has to fit down in here and same on this side so it's down on both sides oh, this one's got to go in there make sure it's in there on both sides and give it a little 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 push and uh, of course I have the I'm holding the camera right now so I'm gonna put the camera down and, and do this Down. Both sides. And voila, there it is. And when I open it, <coughs> looks good, looks sharp. And that is installing the Truxedo Pro X15 on a 2019 Ram Rebel. This is B-Rob. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys later.